risen. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Risen with Tears of Gaia. It's a peaceful, quiet morning here in Harbor Town. Last time, we threw Delgado out of town. And today we're gonna investigate some more on behalf of the Inquisition. Because apparently we're their new detective. Hey, they call me Sid. I hope you're not some faceless minion of the Order. I'm not faceless. What do you know about the Order? The Order locks us in the town like cattle and drags men off to the monastery. Take Rodriguez, a good man, reliable. And now, they did something to his mind up at the monastery. They got to him. Now he's just a tool of the Inquisitor. It's evil, stirring people's brains round like that. What was Rodriguez before? He was a decent, honest thief. Salt of the earth. They caught him outside looting. Took him off and changed him. Poor fool guards the slaughterhouse by the harbour for the order now. Wait. Do you need help? It's Rodriguez. He's out to get me. He's part of the order. You're on my side, so do me a favour. Find out what he's planning and tell me. No, I'm not on your side. Though I was hoping that you could teach me how to pick locks. Rodriguez, right. So, should we go and talk to... Oh, it's a prostitute. It's a prostitute playing on a, on a muscle. But it sounds beautiful. She won't talk to me. I just wanted to tell my lady that you're more befit of a musician than of a prostitute. There's a hungry look, but if you want meat, I'll want coin. If you don't have any coin, Master Belcher is handing out stew to the poor. Though you don't look that poor. What's your job here? I guard the slaughterhouse. Not a plum job, but when you decide to switch sides from the Don to the Inquisition, it takes time to earn trust. That's why I'm stuck guarding meat. Oh no. That's certainly increased in value now the storms have curbed the fishing trade. People are as likely to steal steak as they are artifacts. Have there been many break-ins? Too many. Three houses were robbed recently. And what was done about it? Not much we could do apart from keep an eye on local troublemakers. I am positive Sid is behind it though. Why do you think Sid was behind the robberies? He considers himself a local leader of sorts, likes to stir things up. But what makes you so sure it was him? Well, you just have to look at that girlfriend of his and the wealth she flaunts to know it's not coming from an honest source. That's right, that was the first thing I thought when I saw Kaylee floating across with that shiny nice ring. How do you know, Sid? I was one of the Don's men. It's not something I'm proud of, but... He's a charismatic man. He can be very persuasive. Then I realised he doesn't care about the future of this island. He just cares about his own selfish gains. Now, I fight alongside Inquisitor Mendoza. What are you planning to do now? If I can prove Sid was behind the burglaries, maybe I can improve my standing in the Order. But I doubt anyone would talk to me. The Don's men feel betrayed, and the Inquisition are suspicious. So, I need someone who doesn't have my baggage. Yeah, pick what me, pick you? me, pick me! It would help this town no end if the burglaries were stopped. I can pay you for your That's aid. That's always a plus. Okay, I'll investigate the break-ins. Good. Be careful, it won't be easy. Sid's tricky. It's difficult to pin anything on him. Even though he always seems to know where items of value can be found. You think he cased the houses in advance? He may be a thief, but he's not a stupid one. He probably sent someone else to scope the houses out. If you can find out who his spy is, that'll be a good start. Whose houses were robbed? Nelson the cartographer, Flavio the fur dealer, and Baxter the bookkeeper. You should talk to each of them. Their statements could be the key to bringing Sid to justice. How much will you pay me? How about 150 gold? Right, that sounds awesome. So, 
I don't want to ask him where I can find those guys because I'm pretty sure I know where. But, um, find a burglar spy. Oh, I should have asked him then. This is you. Yeah, thank you for that information. I think this is Baxter's house. Hello, Baxter. Just a moment. Wait, it's Costa. It three at twenty-five plus eighteen hands. I can't do this with you staring at me. You're doing the accounts. I keep the books for the butcher's shop. There's a skill. You think calculating's easy? There's not many around here can do it. I can. Really? You want to test me? Yes. What's fourteen times seventeen? Fourteen times seventeen. Uh, I think it's two hundred thirty-eight. Two hundred and thirty-eight. Very good. <laughs> a man should value <laughs> the weapons of the mine. Uh, that's why I'm becoming a mage because I'm. Well, I was just guessing. About the break-in. What was stolen? What else? Gold, of course. The gold belongs to the order. Now it's gone. How much gold was taken? All of it. I don't know exactly how much. I was just about to do the accounts when I noticed the theft. Who was in the house on the day of the break-in? Well, Doyle tried to Doyle. sell me fish, but I don't like fish, so he left. That fatto Vasily brought beer. I paid for that. Traded him a few pieces of meat. And of course, Mo was here a few times, but that isn't unusually works here after all. So our suspects are Vasily and Doyle. Mo isn't a suspect because he works there until now. So who should we talk to first, Vasily? You look weather beaten. Did you make it here across the seas? I was shipwrecked. I washed up here. What about you? I'm a sailor. Was. With the storms, there's nothing to do in the harbour. And I give up my job with Patty. So you work for Patty? I used to. Serving beer. But people are running out of money to spend on beer. So I was no longer needed. Luckily, she hasn't asked me to clean out my berth yet. If you're looking for work, you won't find a lot. What happens in the harbour? Not much since the ship stopped coming in. Carrasco is in charge of things. He manages the warehouse for the order and he pays terribly. Stick to Luca. He's got something cooking. And if you do well, there'll be an extra coin or two. But don't let him swindle you. Luca is a complete skin flint. You were seen in a house that was burgled. I deliver beer to a lot of houses. I'm seen everywhere. True enough. You're going to spend your whole life hanging wait, around. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I gotta do here. Dinar. Oh, no, no. Nico. Hey. Stop staring at me. You never seen a fisherman before. Didn't mean to stare. Camera's fucking I'm up again. Drinking, not talking. Unless you're buying, you're walking. You got any rum? I've got some rum for you. Ah, bliss. She may be cruel in the mornings, but she's a fine mistress night and day. Light on the tongue. Warm what a poet body. for rum. So, you're a fisherman. I lost my boat in those vile storms we've been having. Now I have nothing. Patty's good to me though. Let's me run a tab. I'm looking for a buyer for a fishmonger's. What, phyllises? What's that to me? Wouldn't a fishmonger's be just the thing for a fisherman? I catch fish. I don't sell them. Perhaps you should think about a change of career. Hmm, perhaps. And you don't have any work right now. True, true. How much would this stall cost me? It's yours for 300 gold pieces. I don't have a coin to my name, but maybe I have something else. Something else? I'll need your help. 
To do what? Listen, I have something valuable we can trade. And this thing is worth 300 in gold? Shush, not so loud. And yes, it's an artifact from the <gasps> Why are you running a tab at the bar when you own an artifact? I can't sell it. If the Inquisition find out, there'll be hell to pay. I see. But I'll sell it to you for 300. I'm sure it's worth more. Then I can use the gold to buy the shop and you can take the profit from the artifact. Sounds wonderful, but first let me check my gold. Oh no! I don't have the means for that right now. But now you know, now you know, he's gonna take over Phyllis' fish shop and sell us an artifact. That's why I was looking for him. And that guy Vasily reminded me of Nico because I think they... They totally look alike. Nelson! Ahoy! Ahoy. Come to see me, have Yes, you? I have! I need a map of the island. I need a map of the island. Why? Surely you've heard it's illegal to leave the town. I have. Well, I'll draw you a map if you want. You could use it for decoration. How much do you want for the map? It'll be a fair price. I'll let you know when it's completed. I heard you had a break-in. What was stolen? A ring. A valuable one. I received it from Commandant Carlos personally, in return for a map of the island. Who was here on the day of the break-in? A few people. Mo from the slaughterhouse brought me a delivery of meat. Anyone else? The labourer Doyle sold me fish. And Pavel, one of Flavio's men, he sold me a couple of wolf pelts. So Pavel, Mo, or Doyle. I'll find your ring. I would be very grateful. So we got our suspects. Suspect list like that. Then let's... What was... Ah, the fur dealer. The one with the wolf skins. His guy, Pavel. Wait, we should talk to Pavel first. Hey. What do you want? I haven't done anything. That's quite a guilty conscience. No. I just... I thought... Um... Thought... What? That you were one of the people who doesn't want us outsiders here. They say we're thieves, but we aren't. The Don's rabble are the thieves. Where are you from? All over. I'm a hunter, or was before the Order locked me up here in this town. You don't sound terribly happy. Of course. If they're going to lock everyone up here, they should look after us. Instead, they treat us like criminals. But the Order just leaves us here, leaves us to our fate. Yeah, I think I think I should just confront him with um you were seen in one of the houses. You were seen in one of the houses that was burgled. Actually, I've been in more than one. That doesn't make me a thief though. We'll see. Keep your eyes off my thing. Welcome, welcome. I am Flavio the merchant. Hello, Flavio <laughs> the merchant. I bet you're looking for work. I can't give you any. You'll have to try somewhere else. Ah. Pavel found a solution to getting outside. He just walked right through him. Um, about the break-in. About the break-in. What was stolen? Ah, uh, my hide. If that hadn't have happened, I would have been able to carry on my business. Oh, I should have listened to my father and gone to sea. That would have saved me a lot of trouble. I think so. Who was here on the day of the break-in? Just the usual day labourers who wanted to push their wares off on me. <sighs> like I have any gold left. Anyone else? Ah, uh, Pavel was here the whole day. After all, he works for me. And Vasily wanted to sell me beer from the tavern. And then there was Doyle. He wanted to sell fish, but I sent him away. That was all. So... In the fashion of a real... Detective... We combine that Doyle is the only one who was seen in all of the three houses. Thus making him a prime suspect. Because Mo wasn't there. Mo was in the other two. 
But Doyle was in all three of them. So let's start to talk to Doyle first. I know where he's at. He's having a free kip at Costas. What do you want here? I could ask you the same thing. I sleep here. Nothing wrong with that, is there, mate? I'm not your mate, buddy. You were seen in a house that was burgled. But I sell fish door to door. I spend time in people's houses. If you say so. You're the only person seen in all the houses that were broken into. Which makes you a prime suspect. Come off it. You can't prove that, mate, and you know it. I can beat a confession out of you. That would be a big mistake, mate. I'll take the chance. Or we skip the beating and you tell me the truth. And if I do, will you help me? Or, or will you hang me out to dry? Just tell me. I cased the houses for Sid. There. Not so hard, was it? But what do I do with this information? If Sid hears I've talked, he'll feed me to the rot worms. And if the Order finds out, they'll send me to the monastery. You've got to keep this quiet. I won't. Let me think about this. Please, I'm begging you, mate. Don't tell Sid or Rodriguez. Hmm. Wait here. If you run, I will find you. All right. All right. And stop calling me mate, friend. Because I'm not your mate. So let's return to Rodriguez. At this point, I ought to apologize because this whole investigation is really time consuming. So I think we're gonna make this a little bit of a longer episode again. But I hope there's more exciting things coming up. I found Sid's spy. And Sid ordered him to do it, right? Yes, it was Doyle, one of the day laborers. He's scared to death and does not want to go back to the monastery. What should I do with Doyle? With his confession, Sid can be brought to justice. The burglaries will end. And maybe Mendoza will look positively upon me. As long as Doyle's kept safe and hidden. Make sure Doyle understands that he needs to join us to stay safe. Then deal with Sid. That's a swell idea. I think we're going to do just that. I was hoping Sid, uh, yeah, Sid might teach me something first. But I gotta find another bandit who can teach me how to pick locks, and that's gonna be hard if I'm playing for the Inquisition, so. I really wanna get this skill. Hello, Doyle? You still there? Yeah. I've been thinking. Now I've decided. What? What are you going to do? You will surrender to the Order. No. Please, no. I can't go to the monastery. First you stay here and hide. But Sid will find me. And he'll kill me. I'll take care of Sid. With the statement you gave me, I'll get him. Oh shit and fire. That's not going to be easy. Okay. Hey, hey, Fuller. You see that chest? You see how empty it is? Yeah, that was me. What are you gonna do about it? I really love this. Alright, let's go to Sid and tell him. I found your spy. It's Doyle. The idiot. I thought he was better than that. Doyle's gone to the Order. He's turned himself in. What? He'll tell them everything. What are you going to do? If I stay, I'm in a sea of trouble. I need to get away. Yeah, I'll head out as soon as I can. Hoping the mess this town's become, I'll get forgotten. Whatever happens, I'm not letting the Order take me to the monastery. Wait. Wait, wait, Sid. Okay. So, Kaylee. What did you do? Come on, out with it. Out with what? My city's left town, and I'm sure it's your fault. City, I, I, I'm sorry, he's standing behind me. Just get out of my sight, you bastard. He's standing behind me. 
My city. Uh, I mean, your city. Is still there. Kaylee, give me. Give me. There's plenty of others. Give with me. There's plenty of others. Give me gossip. your Hi, ring. And why is it still standing there? Get out of town. So I can beat up your wife and take her precious ring. All right. No. You got nothing for me. Let's tell Rodriguez what we just did. Maybe he'll be happy about that. Sid is trying to flee the town. Let him go. He'll just cause trouble if we put him in the monastery. At least the town will be free of his influence. Here, with the thanks of the order, we could do with more like you. Yay! He got more gold. So I gotta sell some stuff so I can get that ring of Nico. Maybe Baxter will give me something. I do not wish to be bothered. I right do now. not wish to be bothered right now. That's what you say, but deep down you wish to be bothered. <laughs> what you want? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, I'm sorry. Farmer, farmer, townswoman. I'm not gonna disturb you anymore. City. There he goes. He's just walking. Okay. That does not make any sense. But hey. So now I'm gonna beat up his wife. As, what do you want? Um, I was thinking about beating you up, actually. Cut that out. Ah. Because now I can take Nelson's ring. Yeah, it was her who told me that I had to take it from her dead fingers. So I did. Now who could teach I did just blocks? that. <laughs> I like how my character is in a, some kind of a gray zone. He's not really a bad, nor is he a good character. I'm just doing whatever the hell I want. In order to become a mage. I can still kill women. I found it. I have your ring. I'm so pleased that honesty still exists. I'd like you to keep the ring. Are you serious? Seeing it just reminds me of the break-in. I don't want it anymore. Are you sure about giving me the ring? Isn't it precious? Yes, of course. I don't even want to look at it. Take it with my thanks. I'm grateful. Thank you. Oh yes, we just got Nelson's ring. That's great. That's just great. Show me your fish. Show me your fish. You actually want to buy some? Well, don't forget, it's two for one. Ah. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to conjure false hopes, but I was thinking there was like this trade window so that I could actually sell stuff to him. So Flavio! You don't have any work to offer? Since the town gates have been closed, my hunters can't get out. So there is no more hunting. No hunting, no catch, no gold. We all just have to tighten our belts. Do you have any jobs that can be done in the town? Uh, well, there's one thing. We all could really use a delivery of meat. Where does it need to go? Master Belcho needs it. You just have to get the meat from the slaughterhouse. I've already talked to Baxter down there, but he wants ten skins before he'll hand over any meat. So you want me to find these skins? If you manage that, then at least we'll have some meat. I'll do it. What's in it for me if I come up with the skins? You want to be paid for your work. I don't have much. I can offer a few arrows and you'll make some friends. Okay, I'll find these skins for you. Thanks. Five boar skins and five wolf skins. And take them to Baxter. Once you have the meat, take that to Master Belshaw. He acted surprised. He was like, what, what, what? You want to get paid for your work? What, what's that? That's something that's, that's a whole new concept. We never heard of this before.
course I want to get paid for my work, you stupid fuck. Um, there's some plants that need to need to be eaten. Good, you have done it off screen, you know. No, I couldn't. Holy moly! Uh, those chicken all the time. Now, who could teach me to pick locks? Now we're just playing silly buggers, you know. Standing on top of the roof. Woo! Uh, no, actually, oh, that really hurt. Actually, I was looking for um, some of those skins. There's a face I don't recognize. Don't go wandering outside the gutters if you want to stay safe. You're a town guard. Damn right, so that means around here, the law is what I say it is. Stay in the gutters and stay out of trouble. Why are there only a few guards about? We are the town's first line of defense. So we were the first people sent to those ruins when they sprang up. Most didn't come back. Or if they did, they were in bad shape. That was before Mendoza and his Inquisition turned up. Now it's his men that go into those ruins. And let me tell you, that's fine by me. Can you train me? Sure. I could do with a bit of amusement. It'll cost you though. I want to improve my fighting skills. I don't really want to do that. I was just wondering what, what he could teach me. We're not gonna spend any learning points on that. I'm watching you. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. God damn it, Cutter. I have to learn sneak and I have to learn pick locks. Fan lodgings for Martha, the farmer's wife. You are a good man. If only all the people in this town were as considerate. Here, I have something for you. May the holy flame light your way. Right. Never forget to tell people what you did. Each and every one of them. Finn, I have talked to you, so... So now... We're just searching for those hides. Where could they be? Where could they be? Where could they be? Yeah, we're just gonna search every... Don't touch anything. I'm sorry, but I wanna touch that wolf skin. What are you gonna do about it? Huh? What do you want here? Miserable thief. Oh, oh no. Now you see <gasps> what they're doing against it. They're chasing me around town and I don't like it. No, sir. I don't Stop. like it. Gotta Where get out of here. No, god damn it! That was a really bad idea. Run! I'll find you! You know where we're going? No, I can't go up there. I never forget a face. You never forget a face. That's too bad for me then. But 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 the, but those skins were, were already stolen. I'm I'm trying to retrieve them. What's wrong with this world? Ah, now I can get up. Finally. I don't know where this will get me. But it's always interesting. This is Assassin's Creed. Only that it's not. A purse. How great. What's in the purse? Is what I'm actually wondering. Small pouch, tool bag. Right, so the... I do have to open the purses like that. Okay. So we get back down and then we... We buy Nico's ring. And then I think that's all for this episode. I know, I know, I know. So that's the most excitement we got when that guy, hello. Honesty is a virtue. Leave the property of others alone. Um, I don't really know what to make of that because he was the one who... <laughs> okay. He was a fan of my honesty and now he's like... 
He's like, Dad, what a dick. What? Where am I going? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was intending to go to the pub so that I could talk to Nico, buy his ring, and sell him the fish shop because in my last playthrough, that quest took me so goddamn long. Okay, sell me the ring. Believe me, you're getting one good deal right there. Don't let Carlos or his people catch you with it, though. So, you'll buy the fish stall? Yeah. Fish from the shore in the mornings, sell during the day. Gotta be better than what I'm doing right now. Phyllis will be happy to hear that. And so am I. Give me that ring. Nico's ring, strength plus three. Now we're super strong. Which is good because we suck at combat. Let's get back to Phyllis. And end this episode at the very same point we ended the last one so that everyone's gonna be confused. I found someone. Nico will buy your store. What? Is he crazy? Oh well. His craziness, my escape. Thank you for finding him. Here, I found this clam in a fish crate. Might be of use to you. Now you're fish free, what will you do now? I'm going to Patty's. I'll get the gold from Nico on the way, and then I'm going to get very, very drunk. What a great plan. So, Phyllis is going to get drunk. And Kaylee is alive and kicking again after I beat the shit out of her sweeping the dust the prostitute is still playing her flute everything's back to normal in Harbor Town and with that wonderful wonderful sense of normality <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about thanks for watching See you guys.